What's good fam, it's your boy Coach Nosher coming back at you guys with another unboxing. Unfortunately, I got another late one for you guys. Another pair that I couldn't acquire, um, day of release, and it's getting to the point where these things are almost a month old, but I wanted to put them on video anyway, man. They're just super dope. Um, another pair I was excited to get. I love mismatched shoes, so you'll see why I dug these. Guys, without further delay, let's get into this unboxing. Crazy box. I always love when they do crazy stuff like this. I mean, you you know, when you're a sneakerhead, you acquire a lot of these things, and it's always dope when uh, there's something to differentiate, you know, the box itself, you know, and make it something that you don't necessarily mind holding on to. Very cool. All right, guys, the sneaker itself. Bang. Kyrie for confetti things. Purple on the left shoe, yellow on the right shoe, bang, on the inside, they actually mismatch as well. So no, not only do you have a mismatched pair of shoes, but the inside of the shoe actually differentiates itself from the outside of the shoe. Same thing on this one, man. Very dope. These things stand out. Obviously, you can't wear them with everything in your wardrobe. Regardless of how you do rock these things, they're definitely going to turn some heads, man. Um, super dope. Confetti is the name of the colorway. Obviously, the story behind that is the Cavs lost the finals last year when Kyrie was walking off court. He had a whole bunch of different, you know, um, confetti and celebratory type things that were raining down at the uh, Golden State Arena, stuck to the bottom of his shoes, which is supposed to be kind of reminiscent of this color blocking down here, was a bunch of pieces of confetti that the Warriors had written um, sayings on and stuff like that, which a lot of that found its way onto the side of the shoe. Some of it's actually pretty hard to make out, especially because a lot of it is layered on top of other sayings. Um, some of it's easier to make out than, than others, you know, we'll be ready to battle. You know, pretty simple, simple sayings. A lot of stuff like you hear in uh, post-game conferences, pre-game conferences or whatever. Kyrie's shoes are, you know, they, they stand out, but more so his PEs than the actual GRs. Um, and that's why I wanted to pick these up. These are a lot more reminiscent of a Kyrie shoe that he would wear on court. They're busy, they've got, they're taking chances with some of the color blocking and the designs and stuff like that. And they just don't really release stuff like that right now as GRs. We're getting a lot of solid color blockings. You'll get like a navy shoe that'll have a couple hits of color down here. Even now they've released, I wanna say probably three or four other colorways, like GRs of the Kyrie 4. And they're just nothing really there that makes me want to scoop them in terms of a lifestyle shoe not not an actual on court type shoe you know there's just not enough there to really differentiate that shoe from everything else in my collection um and that's one reason that i don't really have a whole ton of Kyrie's in my collection you know i really i got the one all stars i love that shoe yeah it's got a lot of gray color blocking to it but it's got that like rainbow tint in a whole bunch of different places um you know, you got that speckled midsole and stuff like that. Super dope shoe. Um, stuff like that, they're, they're ten, they've tended to get away from that and go more towards solid colors. Evidently, that's what's selling. Not to this guy, um, but, I, you know, that it is what it is, man. So, stuff like this makes me want to pick up these shoes more. I'll, you know, couple that with the fact that we're paying 120 130 whatever for, you know, 110 for... Uh, for Kyrie's and PG's and stuff like that. You know, they're dope shoes, they're they're dope on court. They're just not, they're not busy enough in the color blocking to make me wanna actually spend my money on that as opposed to something else that drops that week. So yeah, my bit of two cents. Um, then you got other things like Kyrie's little seeing eye emblem um, under the tongue. You know, uh, again, on the inner Nike swoosh, you've got more of those sayings. Pretty cool, cause they kept that outer swoosh solid. Very dope. I really like what they did with this shoe. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, I, I feel like a lot of sneakerheads, we rock shoes to turn people's heads. Something like this, I mean, yeah, it takes that to the extreme, but you know, it, it appeals to me. So what about you guys? Are you feeling these? Is this something that, uh, you know, you like, but you wouldn't purchase cause you wouldn't rock it? Um, you know, w what are your thoughts, guys? Again, I've been holding that shoe up the whole time. The other shoe, I know everybody's gonna have a favorite between the two shoes. For me, I, it's hard to pick. I mean, it's a pair of shoes. You know, I take one with the other, man. And as a whole, I really, really dig these. That's why I wanted to bring you this video, regardless of how late it was. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Throw me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Um, let's get into some on feet, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit that thumbs up button for me, guys. It's your boy, Kosher Nosher. Appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace. Death is a face in the life of a being. A door 
another existence. It is a pause and a long journey of the soul upon earth. Chucky Beats!